a lot of women, they think that the longer that I wait, then the bigger the blessing of marriage is going to come to me because I have waited so long. Yeah. So you have a lot of women who are waiting all the way up until their 30s and 40s for God to send them a husband, yeah. but it's completely unbiblical, uh -huh. one. And two, waiting, like that's like the, the prosperity gospel, right? Mm -hmm. That there, There's no promise of the longer that you wait, mm -hmm. then the bigger the reward for marriage will be in the Bible. That's not biblical, mm -hmm. right? So you choose to be married. Mm -hmm. You can choose marriage and you can choose who you marry, mm -hmm. right? So this thing of I'm waiting on God when God is waiting on you, mm -hmm. like <laughs> you don't have strategy. Mm -hmm. Nobody wakes up one day and says, oh, I want to be a doctor, but I'm waiting on God to become a doctor. Nobody does that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People look for strategy, they do their research, they mm -hmm. figure it out how to become a doctor. If you want to make a, a six-figure job or a high-paying job, no one sits around and says, I'm waiting for God for a job without um, filling out their resume or improving their resume, going to job fairs, talking to a career coach, or even just posting their resume mm -hmm. on a job board mm -hmm. in the job market. Mm -hmm. How are you not in the job market? Not even your friends or your family know that you're looking for a job. They can't even offer you a job. Mm -hmm. You're not even available for a job. Mm -hmm. Who's, who does that? <laughs> so this idea of I'm waiting on God for a spouse, faith without deeds is dead. This is what James 2 tells us. Mm -hmm. We can't just sit around and wait idly, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. women think because of my age, I should get a bigger blessing. No, you're still the same person that you were 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. You're still the same person. You still have the same low standard or no standard. You have no standard, low standard. You don't know what men want. You don't even know the ingredients to a healthy marriage, but yet you're waiting on God to come and rescue you from yourself. That's delusion.